Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I'm Priyanka, and in this episode, we welcome back Jen Person to talk about more mobile app backend service solutions. Good morning, Jen. Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud. Thanks, Priyanka. Always happy to be here. So last time we were on the show, you shared a mobile app backend recipe solution using Firebase. Yep, and I explained that Firebase solves a lot of the mobile app backend problems, but if you need to make some changes server side, I hinted that you need to add to Firebase to make a complete solution. So I can't wait any longer. Tell me what we're cooking up today. All right, so here is our recipe from the last episode. And here's today's ingredients. Ah, of course, App Engine Standard Environment. Well, App Engine Standard Environment is an app platform that monitors, updates, and scales the hosting environment. All you need to do is write your mobile backend service code. If your app uses Firebase for automatic real-time data synchronization, you can extend your Firebase solution using App Engine Standard Environment to process user data or orchestrate events. For instance, in my game, Priyanka's Kitchen, I use App Engine to compute user ranks based on scores, then write the updated ranks to Firebase. That's a perfect example of how this recipe can be used. I recommend this recipe for Firebase apps that need a backend service to modify the synchronized data and backend services that run periodically to process or analyze Firebase data, just like the ranking system in Priyanka's Kitchen. App Engine Standard Environment certainly adds some seasoning to the Firebase recipe. But of course, no one recipe will suit every discerning palate. So tell me, Jen, when would you not recommend using this mm. recipe? I don't recommend you use today's recipe for backend services that call native binaries, write to the file system, or make other system calls. I also don't recommend this if you require persistent connections to Firebase because App Engine Standard Environment reclaims socket connections after just two minutes. But I'm betting that you have a design that can work for those use cases too, right? Yep, and I have it right here. But you'll have to wait to the next episode to find out what it is. Oh, I am on the edge of my seat here, Jen. Thanks again for coming on. And it's always a pleasure to spend time on Cloud Kitchen with you. Anytime. I can't wait to come back to your kitchen. I just love the smell of freshly cooked cloud. <laughs> well, that's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. If you would like to know more about today's recipe, you can check out the resources in the description below. Here's hoping you're whipping up your own mobile app backend strategy. Join us next time when Jen will finally reveal the mystery mobile app backend solution. If you liked this video, then check out the other episodes in the series. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified about new episodes of Get Cooking in Cloud, as well as other great Google Cloud content.